So welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 20 News Show. Today we're talking about the cover star announcement, some beta information as well, and a few other cool things that I've found over the last seven days. If you're new to the channel and you want to know all the latest FIFA 20 news, this is the best place for you. Make sure you hit subscribe today. We've got about 75% of you guys watching the videos but not subscribed. So do yourself a favor, hit the subscribe button today and you will know everything regarding FIFA 20. Also, if you want to support the new Piemonte Cultural Club, there is a shirt available in the Vapex merch store. So make sure you check out the link in the description to pick up one of those. So let's start with the first bit of news today, which is the new cover stars that got announced. This is the official cover art for FIFA 20. There's two announced so far and there's an Ultimate Edition coming soon. But we're going to talk about who we think is going to be on the cover of that one really soon in this video as well. Uh, PlayStation Australia actually put out the tweet first and said the Fever 20 cover art has been revealed and they put Eden Hazard there. That is the official cover art for the standard edition. And then later on we got the other tweet from EA Sports FIFA who said Fever 20 cover stars revealed standard edition is Eden Hazard, Champions edition is Van Dyke, and Ultimate edition is coming soon. Depending on when you watch this video, it might be announced. Eden Hazard put out a tweet and he goes back on the cover of EA FIFA, not bad for a lad from a small village in Belgium. That's pretty cool. And then we have Van Dyke, dream come true. It's an honor to be representing Liverpool on the Champions edition of FIFA 20. So here's a better look at both covers. These are high quality images. They've got the name this year and the team the guy plays for on the left there. I'll put the arrow there. And then on the Hazard one, there's a, a big gap there. I don't know because they, they're supposed to pull like standard edition or something. Because on the right, they have that gap, but it's got champions edition on the right. So yeah, that, that's a bit annoying. I don't know why they put that white text with the white jersey for Real Madrid. It doesn't really stand out. It's very hard to read. The Liverpool one's alright though. I was a bit surprised to see these two guys because there wasn't any rumours surrounding who was going to be the cover star this year. We knew Ronaldo was gone, but I didn't know who was coming next. The only rumour I heard was uh, Son from Spurs, but that's obviously not going to be happening now. So either way though, a cover is just a cover. The game needs to be good as well. So I figured out the first official day we can play Fever 20. So basically EA has this big promotion now because EA Access has uh, made its way onto the PlayStation 4, so you'll see all this kind of advertising and stuff. And of course, when you start up FIFA 19, you will be greeted with advertising as well. When I loaded up FIFA 19 the other day, I got this little pop-up. It says, join EA Access now and get some incredible benefits for FIFA 20, including save an additional 10% when you pre-order FIFA 20, play FIFA 21st starting September 19th, 2019. Now that is the big line that I saw, and that's going to be the first official day we can all play the full version of FIFA 20, September 19th. And uh, of course, it's not going to be for unlimited time. I think EA Access gives you about 10 hours of trial, so you have to manage your time wisely. You have to make it last a week, I guess. But then it says get 10% off all EA digital purchases, including FIFA points and other EA games. And that's basically it. So what I usually do is buy EA Access for one month in September. And I get to download FIFA 20 early on September 19th. Have that 10 hours of trial time. Play career mode and stuff like that. But my situation is different. I do create content on the game. So I need that early access. For you guys, maybe you can wait that extra a uh, few days. It's I think it's only seven bucks or something Australian for EA access for one month So it's not too big of a, a price, but you know if you can wait good luck to you But if you can't this is the best way to get fever 20 early and officially This next bit of news was doing the rounds on social media and you have to bear with me My pronunciation may be bad here This is about the possibility of the Copa Libertadores and Copa Sudamericana coming to FIFA 20 I believe this article was from Fox Sports Italy, and it says EA Sports could finally conclude the agreement with CONMEBOL, which is uh, like the association there. This would lead to the entry into the title of the two major South American continental tournaments. So these two tournaments do come from South America. And it is a bit translated, so you have to bear with me. It says the Copa Libertadores will arrive in FIFA 20. This seems to be one of the possible great innovations of the new football chapter by EA Sports, which will end on the shelves September 27. The maximum international competition in South America had already been introduced in the video game world between the last generations of consoles. In fact, it featured exclusively for PES from 2011 to 2016. It then goes on to say, for the last three years since PES 17, um, no licenses for these South American tournaments have been in video games, but it might finally change now because apparently EA Sports have got the licensing for these tournaments. And... It says, this situation seems to have found a solution starting from FIFA 20. According to the Twitter account FIFA All-Stars, the same that anticipated the passage of the Champions and Europa League from PES to EA, the Copa Libertadores should be counted among the new features of the game. So, I don't think there's any guarantees in this article. It's just sort of interpreting a tweet and saying that it should happen. It then goes on to say something a bit confusing, but I think 
it means that because they've got the Libertadores Cup now, maybe it's going to bring the second, like the Europa League version of that cup in the game as well. So what's it called? The Copa Sudamericana. So apparently they're, they're predicting both. So for me, there really is no guarantees here. I don't know. They're just interpreting a tweet from someone that's, you know, I guess reputable a little bit. I have heard of the name FIFA All-Stars and that, but they're just predicting, yeah, it's going to happen because I read a tweet. So I'm not 100% sure on this story, but it could be possible. Who knows? We're going to talk about the Ultimate Edition cover star now. We've already unveiled the first two, the Champions and the Standard Edition, earlier on in this episode. And something came around social media. I think this is from EA. I can't find the original tweet, though. And it's about like a, a little silhouette thing of a guy, and it says one to go, which is basically like there's one more cover star to go, which is for the ultimate edition of the game. Now, a lot of people believe Zidane is going to be the ultimate edition cover star, and he's going to be one of the icons in FIFA 20 as well. And to me, that silhouette does look like Zidane a little bit, but then people started making photos and stuff, and this one from social media, I'm not sure who the original person was that created this, but I just found it on a lot of people's pages looks pretty much like the real deal. I mean, it matches the silhouette like at least 99% in my eyes anyway. So I do think it's going to be Zidane. Uh, to further support the evidence though, EA Sports did recently follow Zidane on Instagram as well. There's evidence in this photo here. And uh, I think a lot of people are convinced that it's going to be Zidane. Obviously, nothing has been confirmed yet. I think it will be really soon. Make sure you leave a comment. Who do you think it is? Now, with all the news that I've done, it's very hard to remember if I've covered this one or not, but Club America is partners with EA Sports, and we got this little home kit trailer a few weeks ago, I believe now, but I, I just wanted to bring it in because I can't remember if I confirmed that they were partners. So there was this trailer. It didn't really show any faces and stuff. I think they've got generic faces. That's why they covered everything. But the main point here is that they are partners with EA now. So Valencia and EA are partners. We knew this. It's been confirmed a while ago. But because they're partners, you're going to get little trailers like this one that they recently posted. Uh, this is like a Valencia new signing trailer. I think they signed Maxi Gomez, who is a player that already has a real face in Fever 20. But what you'll notice is at the end of this little trailer thing, there's three players. And the one on the right, I believe his name is Jason or something. He has a new real face now. Uh, in Fever 19, he had a generic face. So that was the new face that came out of this little trailer. So I've got some information about the Fever 20 beta. There is going to be a beta, but I believe it's going to be closed because someone in the forums asked EA Andy if it was going to be an open beta, which means anyone can download it and play it. And uh, EA Andy said there won't be an open beta, I'm afraid. Now, I don't know why EA just don't do an open beta. It would be so nice to just get everyone on board, start playing, testing things out and stuff. The way they do it at the moment, only a select few people from the UK, maybe the US as well, get the codes. It depends on how many... Uh, minutes you've played in FIFA 19 and stuff as well, which game mode you played the most. I'll probably do a beta video in the next few weeks uh, before it comes out so I can tell you guys how to increase your chances of getting a code and stuff. But at the moment, there is a beta every year and it's uh, it's just closed. Like, you have to be sent a code to download it. And don't fall for the scam artists and stuff trying to give you guys free codes and stuff. That doesn't work. Now, if you missed it, EA did announce Pro Club's changes in FIFA 20. The main four headlines were... New customization system, new broadcast package, new traits, and new match types. There's a whole pitch notes. There's a whole video that I did that explains everything that you need to know. I did it about two days ago, so if you want to check it out, you can watch it on the channel. It's a good video, and you will see everything new there. Now, I did the video, and I don't think in the video I told you my, my own thoughts regarding Pro Clubs. So I'm just going to throw it in here just for a minute or two. And, uh, you know, Pro Clubs had some good features there. A few people were happy. A lot of people were disappointed, though. And... I think to me, being a person that just plays career mode, there's nothing that they added to pro clubs that makes me want to go and try it out in FIFA 20. I don't know why, but there's nothing that acts as an incentive for me to say, all right, I'm going to give it a bash. So I guess it's good if you're a frequent player of the game mode, but someone that doesn't really touch it at all, all year, there's nothing there that, that attracts me, to be honest. Probably the only feature that does appeal to me somewhat is the new avatar creation system because that's what we're going to be using in player crew mode as well and those people that like to create you know like virtual pros and stuff say that this is going to help them in the process uh, much better than the old system that we had so we'll see what happens with this but i think the new avatar system is definitely a better design in some other news there was two photos that got released based on fever 20 this was when they announced the cover stars so this one is of eden hazard and the real madrid kit and that's a new face for sure. But we've seen this new face already. And uh, there's the comparison on the right. Now, this one is Van Dyke's face. I don't know if this is new or not, man. The chin sort of confuses me, that area around there. 
Some people are telling me it's a new face. I, I still don't think it is, but who knows, man. I presume being a new cover star, he might get a rescan. I just don't know at the moment. Maybe you guys can help me in the comments. But uh, yeah, that's a that's an image of him with the UEFA kit on. It's got the six on the badge now. And also in the background, you can see some flags. I'm not sure if they're new. Some of them do look new. I haven't seen them before, but I don't really play with Liverpool in Fever 19 anyway. So we're going to be getting some Ultimate Team news this week as well. We're in the middle of the timeline, and I think EA actually confirmed that they said the 31st of July. So a day after the PES demo comes out, we will be getting Ultimate Team news. And they're, they're already hyping it up. Like, you can tell where their priorities are because they've already teased it more than any other thing that they've announced already. So you can see where the priority lies. But it says the first four foot 21s to watch have been confirmed. Eden Hazard, Luka Jovic, Joao Felix, and Forgan Hazard as well. Uh, they, these are the ones that they announced. There's probably more coming. The tweet says, The foot 20 features will be revealed on the 31st of July. We already uh, said that one. But they've announced a new icon already. Andrea Pirlo is going to be an icon in FIFA 20. Full feature reveal on 31st. This is the tweet that they put out. And there's a look at his player face and stuff. So that's all for this week's news. If you need something else to watch, hit the card in the middle. It'll take you to the FIFA 20 News Show playlist. You can watch all the latest news from the start to now. So I'll see you next time.